didn't see anyone else who has indicated that they're running for office. But I do want to take a moment to allow those who are currently serving uh, the opportunity to address the crowd if they so choose. Um, I'm going to start with our state representative, uh, Mr. Dexter Shocker. I'm going to be very, very brief because I want to hear from the others. But uh, on a state level, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that has supported me. Uh, even as city council, mayor pro tem, and is now a state representative. And, uh, you know, it takes you guys to help mold me into what I need to be. And I really appreciate you guys that are in contact, you know, week after week with other issues. Uh, one thing I must say that whenever you really have an issue, during session is a busy time, but we do get a lot of resources from you guys. But off session, please do everything you can to stay in touch with us so we can work on things before we get back in. Because everybody in the world is trying to get certain things done. I'd like to thank all the people that actually ran last time. Maybe you didn't win or not, but I really appreciate you guys stepping up, working hard, and a lot of times we see people, they're Democrats doing election time, and then after the election's over, if they don't win, you don't see them anymore. But I thank the ones that are here tonight that are still, that are still pushing. And we got a big fight ahead of us, and we got to keep on, and we got to keep on. So one thing I was very, very well, one thing I've been happy about was um, the guns, guns on campus. Uh, we fought very hard, but you know they pushed it through this time. That I guess the governor put his uh, foot in his mouth a little bit when he told them last time about the veto. He said, "If you guys do this." then I'll more than likely sign it next time. And guess what? They did what he said, and now it's here. Against every, basically every university and college said, we don't want it. Parents said, we don't want it. The law enforcement on campus said, we don't want it. But guess what? They still got it. So we got to work harder, especially on voter turnout. We have enough votes in this state to be blue. We have them. But we got to work hard on grassroots early, not close to the elections. We got to get out now. This is an in season, out of season, compel other people to vote. It's okay to march, it's okay to rally. But if you don't vote, you've wasted your steps sometime. So we need to pull together in season. Out of season. If I can do anything to help you guys, feel free to contact me. I'm easy to find, so I don't like people to come up to me sometimes and say, you're the hardest man to catch up with. No, I'm not. I'm not the easiest man to catch up with because I'm accessible to the people. So if you can't catch me on Facebook, I mean, Google me, do whatever you can find me. Uh, Cheryl Rice, you're doing a great job with this party. Y'all give him a big hand. He's doing a great job. He put some more energy back in here. And that's what we needed. But other than that, I really appreciate everybody. And uh, thank, thank what uh, Councilman, uh, Councilwoman Tooley did on Troop Street. Uh, great job. That was a long time coming. So great job. I grew up on Troop Street and I got hit when I was four years old, hit about 60, 70 feet. And that's when we moved off of Troop Street right after that happened. But there were some great improvements, and I think we can actually save some lives over there. So I appreciate my city councilman woman, uh, uh, Ms. Vivian. I appreciate her. That's my, that's my city council woman, District 1. All right, but I really appreciate all of you that are serving, and uh, y'all just continue to do what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah.